Hey guys, my name is Jess McDonnell. It is the 31st of July today and you're watching GameSpot News. First up, Sony's game streaming service, PlayStation Now, has now launched in public beta form. Sony have released a walkthrough video to get you up to speed. More than 100 games are currently available through the service and you can rent them for a bunch of different durations which are associated with different prices. Sony are keen to hear what you guys think of the service in preparation for its official release down the line. Given that you guys are still pretty miffed about the outrageous pricing, now is probably a good time to tell them that. Capcom had a bit of trouble sales-wise this quarter thanks to a lack of new major titles. Their net sales sit at 93 million US dollars, down 45.1% from last year. Although their operating income was up 75.3%, with an increase of 12.2 million US. Capcom have to thank Dead Rising 3 for bringing in the cash since it's continued to sell well, as well as Monster Hunter Frontier GG, which is currently only available in Japan. It's a good thing gamers still like killing a shitload of zombies and giant monsters. While we're on the financial steam train of success and happiness, Sony have had a damn good time with their sales from the last quarter. Sony's Game and Network Services division, which includes PlayStation, posted a profit of $41.8 million US. That marks a 96% increase from the same period last year, which is obscenely impressive. Sony has said that the strong sales of the PS4 alongside an increase in network services revenues, including PlayStation Plus, were big contributors to the strong figures. They also announced that 3.5 million PS3s and PS4s combined were shipped during the quarter and 85 million games were sold which is loads as for your question of the day let me know down in the comments if you reckon the playstation now pricing is reasonable or not and what you'd be willing to pay those are all the things that i want to tell you about today but be sure to leave me your thoughts and catch me again same time tomorrow for my top five of the whole week